Hey, it's Candice, and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, I want to teach you about insights. So this is a feature relatively new within QuickBooks that allows you to quickly get a snapshot of exactly what is going on within your business. So come look over my shoulder and I will teach you how. All right, so right now I am actually on the home page, and you just see it says home page right here, and you just click the right, and it says insights. And it lets you know that insights are based on accrual basis. So if you are currently keeping track on cash, it will not. It's gonna be on accrual basis, so it'll be slightly different than your reports. So you click OK, and you can see this as profit and loss. You can change it any time frame that you want. Just remember it's an accrual basis. It tells you that over here as well. And then if you use the little arrows, you can go through different reports. So this one is your income and your expense trends. So this is kind of what's going on within your business. It'll let you know the green in this example is income and blue is expenses. So it gives you a little chart. And then if you want, you can actually click on it and it will give you more detail. So that's pretty cool. And then if you click over to the next arrow, this is by sales by customer. And again, if you want any more detail, you can click on it. And then this is your previous year income comparison, which within QuickBooks, I personally didn't, this is a sample file that I created, so it doesn't have anything. And then you're back to your other one. Now, if you say, oh, I don't want all those reports, I only want a couple. If you go over here to the little wheel and click on it, you can actually choose which reports will show up. If you want profit and loss, previous year in comparison, top customers by sales, and your income and expense trend, you can choose to check mark those to have them. And if you don't want them, you can uncheck mark them. Click OK, and then it will adjust your QuickBooks accordingly. If you want to refresh it, that's what this little these little arrows do. And if you actually want to print them, you can print them here as well. And then down below, it'll let you know, based off, do you want to create an invoice? What is your unpaid invoices that are open, your overdue, and which ones have been paid in the last 30 days. And then this is just, you can choose your different expenses and it will let you know what type of expense it was and what percentage kind of gives you a little pie chart. So if you're a visual person, this is a great feature to use. You'll notice that when you change through these, it doesn't change the bottom. The, the bottom stays the same. So you can create invoices here. And if you want to enter a bill, in it for the inner bills section, which is a cruel basis, it gives you that feature there. So this is just something cool I thought I would show you today. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you know somebody who could benefit from this tip, please share it. And do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys next week. Have an amazing week. Talk to you soon. Take care.